where that cool air is located, we do have some snow. Thankfully, this snow is really not going to have an impact on our forecast. Here's how it looks with future forecast. Again, through tonight, we hold on to some cloud cover here, but overnight that cloud cover decreases. This sets the stage for a pretty cool morning on Wednesday morning. We'll have overnight lows that drop into the 30s inland away from the lake, low 30s. Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening, we're going to look for a few hit and miss showers, rain showers, but we can't rule out the possibility for a couple of snow flurries to mix in with that rain. But you can see the activity is going to be highly scattered. Most of us will end up staying dry overnight tonight. Again, those lows fall into the 30s inland about 31 or 32 degrees. For tomorrow, still cool below average. We're looking at upper 40s, partly to mostly cloudy, and again, just that slight chance for a shower. A little bit less wind compared to today. Here's your seven day. Uh, again, upper 40s for Wednesday, low 50s on Thursday, but it is going to be breezy. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday will have winds off the lake. So that means if you're close to Lake Michigan, it'll be a little cooler, upper 40s to low 50s. However, inland, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, mid to upper 50s. Then as we move from Sunday into Monday, Tuesday, the weather turning a little bit more unsettled. We're going to keep a close eye on that as we head into the next couple of days. All right, it is Severe Weather Awareness Week. Your Storm Team 4 meteorologists are hosting Facebook Lives to get you ready for severe weather season. Today's topic, hail damage, severe winds, and storm outlooks. I'll be hosting tonight's chat at 7 p.m. on the TMJ4 News Facebook page, so hopefully you can join us there. We're back with more news after the break.